In this video, I'm gonna show you the two ways I managed to fix my DJI Ronin S to my tripod in flashlight mode. Hopefully, you can achieve shots like this using filmmaking parts that you might already have lying around. But if not, I will link all the items in the description below for you. Let's get started. The first and original way I attached my gimbal to the tripod was a little bit ropey, but it gave me the shot I needed for this particular music video I filmed a while back. The second way is more of a refined version. I use more robust parts and I can remove the gimbal from the attachment way more easily. So on the day of that particular shoot, I had no way of mounting my gimbal in flashlight mode to my dolly. So I removed the cage from my A6500, screwed a base plate to the side and screwed the base of the gimbal handle to the cage like so. It was very, very janky, but I got the job done. So after that, I got thinking there must be a better way of mounting this thing to my tripod. And that is where I got the idea to make the flashlight mode attachment Mark II. To make this attachment, you will need the following. A microphone boom pole support holder, a grip head mounting adapter normally used with a light stand, a tripod screw thread adapter set, which includes this spigot thing, and a base plate from your tripod. Attach the spigot to the base plate exactly the same way as you would attach your camera. Then take the boom pole holder and tighten it onto the grip head, like so. Take the base plate attachment and screw it to the grip head so you can now slide it onto your tripod. Make sure it's tight, we don't want that bad boy slipping off. We're nearly there people, the next step is to set the Ronin in 360 mode. To do that, first press the M button to switch the gimbal over to preset 3. That way I can easily switch between modes when I want to do the spin. Open up the app and make sure you are customising the right preset. In my case it's preset 3. Go to the user profile and on the M3 click the drop down menu to 3D roll 360. Click on control to make sure that roll is set on channel 3 and 2 is disabled. Double tap the power button on the Ronin to disable the motors and slide it onto the boom pole mount. Double tap the power button again to re-enable the motors and double tap the trigger button to recenter the gimbal now it's in flashlight mode. And that is it, you are ready to roll. This easy to assemble bracket will now fit on any tripod or C-stand to give you that sweet infinite spin effect. Have fun with this guys, but don't get too dizzy and I'll see you in the next one.